All right, breast cancer survivors joined in a show of unity and athleticism for the much anticipated yearly dragon boat race. Those who competed say this goes far beyond winning or losing. It's the message it holds to keep on fighting. CBS 4's Carly Barnett has more. Teams were fired up Saturday, ready to take to the water for the Miami Dragon Boat Festival. Despite some gloomy weather, competitors still made their way to Miami Marine Stadium. It stems from the 2000 year old Chinese tradition of dragon boat racing and breast cancer survivors embrace the sport for its physical conditioning and the camaraderie that comes with it. We'd like to think that the doctors have saved our lives, but it is this sport that saves our spirit. It's very important for breast cancer survivors after we've gone through treatment. We feel kind of victimized and we feel hurting. Uh, our families are all worried about us and we get out in that boat and we start paddling and we remember that we are powerful, we're purposeful. Kim Bonomo is the founding president of Save Our Sisters, an all breast cancer survivor dragon boat racing team in Miami. 175 survivors from both North and South America all coming out to compete. Current president Victoria Jackson says it was important to get everyone together again. The pandemic's been hard, we know that. But it's nothing like hearing those words, you have cancer. We know how scary that is, but it's great in this day and age. We know that medicine is coming a long way. Early detection gives you a good fighting start. And there is life after breast cancer. It's a really good life. And this is the gift that I feel that I have from having breast cancer 19 years ago. The gift of dragon boating with Save Our Sisters. It's a beautiful thing to do. Participants were united by their hard fought battles, their hope for a cure, and the desire to spread an important message. Don't be afraid. Get your mammograms. And God forbid something does go wrong, get in touch with us because we'll get you back into full life. Early Barnett, CBS 4 this morning. 25 teams competed Saturday with all experience levels coming from the U.S., Canada, Panama, Colombia, Brazil, as well as Chile.